Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think like, for example, like men's test, I, the, the amount, amount of times I've seen a, 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 a male start with me and they have low testosterone and it's being caused by gut issues is astronomical. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. astronomical. Well, um, one of the, the, I mean, the gut affects everything, right? It does. It does. I mean, the, yeah, the gut affects absolutely everything, yeah. right? And like your hormones are are very much modulated by by your gut health. Your gut health controls a lot of that. Um, I mean, a quick example of testosterone is a lot of. Uh, have you heard of leaky gut? Yes. Okay. So I don't necessarily gonna, know how I'm to define it. it quickly, okay. Right? Perfect. So basically, leaky gut is when the uh, intestinal lining, the wall of your intestines, becomes too permeable. Okay. So it's, it, the the terminal literature will be intestinal permeability. But basically your intestines need to be a little bit permeable because they need to absorb nutrients from your right. food and things from your food, right? Um, but when that when those gaps, those they're called tight junctions, become too big, things that shouldn't be able to slip through into your bloodstream from your intestines can make it through. And one of those things is called lipopolysaccharide. And it's basically it's basically an inflammatory compound. Right? Okay. But uh, so it causes systemic inflammation when people have leaky gut and directly suppresses the production of testosterone in men. Both at the testes and at the at the at the brain, in the brain where we produce LH, which is the signal to make testosterone in the testes, so it okay. can directly suppress testosterone in both those ways. 